Good morning and welcome to Your Successful Retirement TV. My name is Cynthia DeFazio and I'm joined today by Misha Dogger of Dogger Financial LLC. Good morning, Misha, how are you today? Good morning, Cynthia, how are you? I'm very good, what about you? I am doing great as well. I'm so looking forward to the time where we can actually be in one location. We've been doing this remotely now for a while, and I just long to be in the same studio with you so we can actually have a conversation without the delay, if you will, because the viewing audience probably wonders why there is sometimes that little bit of a gap. Yes, certainly. I can't wait for that. I mean, we probably somehow can do it now, we just because of the technology, I know some states has been, you know, with a um, better numbers than other states with the COVID-19, mm -hmm. but just because of the technology, we're just encouraging probably people to stay safe and try, you know, not to risk their lives and their beloved ones. Um, but, you know, 2020 has been, what a year. <laughs> A year to remember. We're not going to have another year probably like this, and I hope not, at least. I agree with you, Misha. It definitely has been one of unexpected challenges that literally came out of nowhere. And I know that when we've talked in the prior weeks, the one thing that is the main component is how much peace of mind that you've been able to deliver to your clients. Because by having a true comprehensive written retirement plan, they were able to sail through the scary waters because they had that in place with you. Would that be correct? Absolutely. You know, we've had a um, few clients, but some are really like highlights. Of course, um, we respect their, um, you know, uh, we're not going to talk any details, but just, you know, for the fact of we've met them early this year and just we were about to do all the transactions and the transfers and all of that. And we just got the plan done with the foundation, with the strategy, with the full, full written, written retirement plan. So just probably two weeks um, before everything's happening and we were about to rebalance the portfolio and things went different directions. And mm. you know what? It would have been a disaster for this couple if it wasn't happening at the right time. Imagine how many other people they did not get the chance, maybe because they were procrastinating. And um, because we've had those two that we've met early this year and they were like, mm, yeah, but you know, the market's doing great. I'm doing great. So, you know, I'm going to think about it. And well, you know, thinking about it can cost you a lot because that's your saving, that's your retirement, and you really wanted to get a strong retirement plan. It's a written retirement plan, not to just a talk, not to just an account managed by a professional. You have to have it completed from social security planning, income gaps, mm -hmm. risk tolerance, allocation, whether you have debt, how to cover that and to budget for it, current budgeting, future estimation, estimated budget for retirement. You have to go through on and on. It depends on the person that you're sitting with, mm -hmm. you know, so you really have to focus on all of this for the client. So it's very important to make a difference in people's life. You know, it makes my heart mm -hmm. so happy when I see these people after it was just like a slight of days that they could have had totally different retirement, mm -hmm. but yet they were fine now. <laughs> Misha, that is such peace of mind that you're giving people, and that's impossible to put a price on because it's invaluable, that peace of mind. It allows people to go to bed at night and know that they are completely covered, that they have such a solid plan in place that no matter what happens, they are going to be able to weather the storm. So I wanted just to ask you a question because a lot of people are tuning in for just the very first time today. Explain to the viewing audience what a fiduciary is and what that responsibility will entail. 
Well, fiduciary advisor puts the client's best interest first. Mm -hmm. And it is very important to work with someone that has fiduciary because, you know, you can work with someone other or can be a fiduciary person, but yet has two hats, if I may say, one broker, one fiduciary. So they can probably swap or a captive financial advisor that can also work for the company as well. You know, working with a fiduciary advisor as well as independent and evaluate all the circumstances equally without prioritizing a company or a, or an allocation or money manager or um, just a company or an account strategy. It's just they have to work for the client's best interest first, put the best interest of the client first. And that's really very, very important because at Dagger Financial, we work for the best interest of the client. They are our employers. So we are doing everything for them and to have a successful retirement for them. We want to hold hands, we want to enjoy going through that with them. And that is such a blessing that you're able to give your clients. I just think it's amazing because we've heard so much positive feedback throughout the weeks. When people have called in and they've left their comments or their questions, people have actually called in that have, have come to sit with you, Misha, and they've always said to me, she is as personable and as warm in person as she is on the television show. So that is a huge compliment to you. Thank you very much, Cynthia, and thank you for the for our listeners and our viewers and you know the people that they've met with me in the past few weeks. It has been really honor to serve their retirement and make sure that they are on the right track. I can't wait for more people to join us and to join the firm with us. I totally agree, and I think that you're not going to uh, be longing for that for too long, if you will, Misha, because obviously people are so excited to pick up the phone, to call in. So, Misha, to the viewing audience at home, can you tell them what they can expect to receive this morning by picking up that phone? So the fir for the first 10 callers, we're gonna offer a full review of that current financial situation to give them a written complimentary retirement plan, include a personalized social security timing report, which is very important. So give us a call, 833-365-8383. Thank you, Misha. To the viewing audience at home, that number to call once again is 833-365-8383. We know the phone lines are busy, but please keep trying. We promise to answer that call. When we come back from this very short commercial break, we're going to have more questions and answers about planning your perfect retirement, so please stay tuned. As a good saver, you've been putting away money during your working years. Studies find that the biggest fear of retirees is running out of money. Market volatility isn't just the downward movement of stock prices, it's the size and frequency of change. The more dramatic the ups and downs, the higher the volatility. This can put savers who are newly retired or a few years away from being retired at greater risk. Today's generation of retirees is not receiving traditional pensions as our parents or grandparents did. Instead, we have retirement accounts such as 401ks or 403bs. These accounts typically expose your money to market risk. The last thing you want right before retirement is to lose a portion of the money you need for income. But how do you turn these accounts into a retirement income? Is it safe to keep all your retirement money sitting in the stock market? The last thing you want is to lose a portion of the money you need for income due to market loss. By working with a financial professional, you can learn how to turn a portion of your savings into an income stream for life and income for the life of your spouse if you're married. We all have moments in our lives when we wish we had taken action sooner. Don't let procrastination rain on your retirement parade. Act now before it's too late. Please call our office to set up your no-cost, no-obligation retirement income review today. 
and welcome back to your Successful Retirement TV. My name is Cynthia DeFazio. I'm joined today by Misha Dogger of Dogger Financial LLC. Misha, I just wanted to jump right in since we are in segment two of our show already. And I wanna talk to you a little bit about um, some red flags, if you will, for a retirement plan. Would you say that the biggest red flag for someone perhaps would be to have no plan at all? Absolutely, you know, or have a wishes that they thought it's a plan, you know, mm -hmm, or mm -hmm. look on their financial statements and thinking that, you know, those numbers that they are on the financial statements are the plan. You know, we've met a lot of people that, you know, we um, during our events or educational events or seminars and they say, you know, uh, what do you think about my plan? And I go through the conversation and I find out it is not a written plan. It's actually just that they have a financial statements coming either from the 401k or from any custodian that you know if you've not noticed on your plan, on your financial statement, it has how much you have in the account and how much you can withdraw from the account. Mm -hmm. Well, people put this number together and think that this is, is the financial plan. You know, this is, is can be as as wrong as having no plan because you're actually following numbers that they are not really true to facts. Mm -hmm. First of all, those are numbers based on the statement that you have in your hands on the day that you picked up that statement from the mail or opened your computer, <clears throat> excuse me, and had that number. Mm -hmm. But if it was next month and the market volatile and that number cut in half or 35% of it gone, then your income is not the same. Mm -hmm. So that's why it is not a written retirement plan. Hmm. You know, some other people think that, you know, I understand I have a pension, I have social security and I'm going to be fine because it's going to cover my bills. Well, that's not enough. Did you count into taxation? Did you also count into inflation? Did you count if that pension is actually a secure pension or if one of the pensions that we've heard about that it was cut in half or reduced? Mm -hmm. Are you counting on social security staying the same or did you read your st social security statement where it says your social security amount is based on current values and current facts? Mm -hmm. Well, if things change and the Congress does nothing about it from now until 2034, that social security payment can be reduced by 20% because the social security fund cannot be paying more than 80% of what they need to pay. Hmm. So when you factor in all these details, mm -hmm. do you really think you still have a written plan? If you do, then you, you, you correct, you're on the right track. Mm -hmm. But if it's not, then you don't have a retirement plan yet, a written retirement plan. Misha, thank you so much. And how important is it to the viewing audience at home to be factoring in health care costs into their retirement plan? Very important. Mm -hmm. You know, we've, we've had so many statistics and it's all over the news and everywhere else. You know, um, Fidelity actually had mentioned recently that the health care cost for retirees or for whoever is at age 65 is going to be around $280,000 hmm. during their retirement phase. That's wow. a big number. And that's only one of the reports that we've read. You know, some other statistics out there uh, showing you how important it is to make sure that you have long-term care. Mm -hmm. Do you think uh, a lot of people are also mistaken that Medicare is going to pay for their long-term care, mm -hmm. um, which it doesn't. So it's very important to understand the facts, to talk to your financial professional and make sure you go through all these details. When, you, when the clients sit with us, we make sure that we have a written plan for them that includes all these details, their social security, Mm -hmm. There are other required minimum distributions. Is it going to increase the taxation or not? Do we need to do other alternatives from the time that they meet with us until the time that they retire? Mm -hmm. Do we have enough for 
um, longevity because mm. we are living longer than ever right now. Mm -hmm. Also, what if one of the spouses predeceased the other one? Is the second spouse is all right with only, you know, losing some of the income? So there is a lot of facts we have to focus on. We can't just talk about, you know, a 401k, for instance. I understand mm -hmm. 401k's accounts and all qualified accounts and retirement accounts are very important. And it's, you know, kept on the employee to choose the investment. And sometimes it's very difficult for them to choose yeah. that investment because they have no financial knowledge. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, we can't just focus on one component when we reach or we are close to retirement. Everything is equally important. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And Misha, let me ask you, how many people also fail to plan for perhaps caring for an adult child, if you will? Maybe they go through a hard time and they've moved out on their own. Maybe they have to move back in. Is that something that people should sometimes factor in as well, or perhaps they forget to altogether? Correct, correct. We meet so many people that they have this, um, you know, and other things that we don't plan, you know, mm -hmm. we can't really plan everything to the dot. Mm -hmm. We only can plan to what we know, and we know a lot currently, but we wanted to be ready to retailer our plan to what comes against us, such as an adult kid moving in back in with the parent or just things, you know, I've had um, other clients that unfortunately their adult child just got disabled at a later age for with an accident at work that really couldn't be confirmed that it's related to work so it wasn't really that a lot of money coming to supplement that person and then it puts a, a big burden on the parents and it's just a very heavy weight on their shoulders to carry by themselves without a financial advisor that helped them navigate through that difficult time. Absolutely, Misha. And I should ask you as well, how important is it for debt consolidation as you're entering into the retirement years? It's one of the most important things as well. I mean, I don't know if I can prefer which one is most important than the other, to be honest mm -hmm. with you, because I feel mm -hmm. like all these subjects are very important. You mm -hmm. have to save for retirement. You have to allocate your portfolio well. The, you know, ideally is to, debt, to be debt free as you approach retirement, ideally. I mean, don't focus too much on a mortgage to be paid off if you're, lo if you're lower, if you have a low interest on that mortgage. But you know, credit card debt or school loans still, or you know, a lot of uh, parents nowadays and uh, people approaching retirement, they actually have parent student loan. Because when they graduated, they did not have their own student loan, but then now as their kids going to college, they weren't able to, they were going to either jeopardize their saving to retirement or they were going to parent student loan option. So they tend to go for parent student loan. Hmm. With the thoughts that this student or the, the child will graduate and find a job and be able to pay it on its own, on their own. But sometimes it doesn't happen. And sometimes in the first few years of working for the child cannot pay that loan. And of course the parents has to pay it. So we have to make sure we evaluate which ones are more important. What's the interest rate on each things. Work through budget, work through financial advisor to prioritize things, make things a lot easier on you. We tend to really make a roadmap we hold hands with our clients. We want them to feel comfortable previous to their retirement as well as when they retire. We want mm -hmm. to enjoy it with, with them. We want to see that successful retirement achieved. Absolutely, and Misha, we're about ready to open up the phone lines once again. Can you tell the viewing audience what they can expect to receive today by being one of the first 10 callers this morning? So give us a call and we will be happy to give you a complimentary full review of your current financial situation, including a customized written retirement plan with a personalized social security timing report. So give us a call 833-365-8383. 
Thank you, Misha. To the viewing audience at home, that number to call once again is 833-365-8383. We have more questions and answers for Misha about planning your perfect retirement, so please stay tuned. You're not going to want to miss this. As a good saver, you've been putting away money during your working years. Studies find that the biggest fear of retirees is running out of money. Market volatility isn't just the downward movement of stock prices, it's the size and frequency of change. The more dramatic the ups and downs, the higher the volatility. This can put savers who are newly retired or a few years away from being retired at greater risk. Today's generation of retirees is not receiving traditional pensions as our parents or grandparents did. Instead, we have retirement accounts such as 401ks or 403bs. These accounts typically expose your money to market risk. The last thing you want right before retirement is to lose a portion of the money you need for income. But how do you turn these accounts into a retirement income? Is it safe to keep all your retirement money sitting in the stock market? The last thing you want is to lose a portion of the money you need for income due to market loss. By working with a financial professional, you can learn how to turn a portion of your savings into an income stream for life and income for the life of your spouse if you're married. We all have moments in our lives when we wish we had taken action sooner. Don't let procrastination rain on your retirement parade. Act now before it's too late. Please call our office to set up your no-cost, no-obligation retirement income review today. And welcome back to Your Successful Retirement TV. My name is Cynthia DeFazio. I am joined today by Misha Dogger of Dogger Financial LLC. And Misha, for the effort to save time, I wanna jump right into the next topic. I wanna to talk to you a little bit about some of the mistakes that people make with their 401k and when they're planning for their retirement years. Can you kind of give an overview about some of the mistakes that someone would make with a 401k? Sure. Actually, the first common mistakes to start with is that people don't participate in the 401k. You know, mm -hmm. their employer offered them 401k, but they elect not to participate. They procrastinate on when. So let's see if the job will work, not, et cetera, et cetera. And that's not correct, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Then the other mistake is maybe not contributing enough to at least get the matching. Well, if your employer is matching, let's say 4% dollar per dollar, but then 2%, half a dollar per dollar, you should at least participate 6% because some people can call this free money. Well, I call it earning money. You've worked so hard and you are still working and you at least should get that money. Then the other mistake is probably not, not contributing enough amount to reach your retirement goals. Mm -hmm. So that's another common mistake. Also, we see mistakes such as people tend to contribute, but then maybe it goes to cash because it's not allocated and they tend not to look at it till future months and so forth and so on. So they are wasting time on participating in the market. Mm -hmm. Some other mistakes might be that actually they let it go to the, um, whatever set by the plan administrator, which is fine if it's a mutual fund that's based on age, sometimes it's okay, but there is better option could be for the person. And well, some other options also you, they might be choosing is not appropriate for their risk tolerance. Do they really know their risk tolerance? Mm -hmm. Do they know if they are contributing to the right investment? Some other also mistakes that people tend to um, overlook is that, well, they leave their employer and they keep so many scattered 401k thinking that they are diversifying by having so many companies. Mm. Well, diversification is not by having multiple accounts. Diversification is by having assets allocation diversified. So therefore, by having ABC company and EDF company and SAG, whatever it is, it's not meaning we are diversifying. So those actually cause a future mistake because when you're going to be retiring, 
you might actually reach a required minimum distribution age. And because you have scattered IRAs and 401ks, you tend to forget about taking required minimum distribution. We are human beings. We do a lot of things online nowadays. So most of the time we tend to forget. Mm -hmm. um, some other mistakes as like they overseen the, you know, the fees because they, they, you know, I've had multiple people that meet with us and say, well, why do I want it to roll over my 401k if I'm not paying advisory fee in there, but by hiring a financial advisor, I'm going to end up paying advisory fee. Mm. Well, are you sure about that? Have you looked about, for instance, the expense ratio fees on the positions that you're invested in? Is it making sense to have that versus working with a fiduciary um, advisor that puts your best interest first? Mm -hmm. And, you know, maybe you should look on the net return versus on the fees for, for the advisor. We should look on the fees and understand it because it's going to create the foundation of our retirement plan. Mm -hmm. But we have also, we have to focus on the net return that we're going to get. Mm. Misha, thank you for that. That was an amazing overview of some of the mistakes that people can make with their 401k. What would be the most important piece of advice you could give someone who's perhaps 10 years away from retirement right now? Don't wait. Give us a call. If you're not working with a financial advisor that holds fiduciary responsibility, take advantage of our complimentary reviews and give us a call. We will be able to review your current financial situation and we will be able to provide you with a complimentary enhanced, um, complimentary, I'm sorry, complimentary retirement planning. And that will include a social security timing report, which is very important. So if you are away from retirement, about five, 10, 12, seven, whatever it is, give us a call. And Misha, you've often talked about the fact that it's never too late for someone to start their retirement plan. And I think that's amazing advice because we could have viewers in the audience today that think maybe it's too late for them, but you've put peace of mind in their hearts as well. Absolutely. We're always here to help them and we would love to do so. Well, I can't believe that we are coming to the end of another show. Misha, thank you so much for providing so much amazing guidance to the viewing audience at home. It is really timely advice right now as we are navigating through just unprecedented times, if you will. To the viewing audience at home, one more time, that number to call is 833-365-8383 for your complimentary consultation with Misha. She's here to help you with any questions that you might have. Thank you again for watching. Have a blessed safe and happy week ahead. Thank you so much.